When I was a kid, I loved to play to be the teacher or the mom to use the commands in Spanish. Bañate, take a shower, haz la tarea, do your homework. But then I learned that the commands are not only used to tell people what to do. Also, if you want to ask someone like, tell me what do you want to do today? Dime, ¿qué quieres hacer hoy? Or the host on a restaurant could tell you, follow me, sígueme, on a museum, do not take pictures, please, no tome fotos, por favor. So that's what we are going to do today. We are going to learn how to use the commands. They can be formal or informal and always are going to be used for tú or ustedes form, you or you all. Let's see. In the informal way, you are going to use tú. And if you want people to do something, these are the endings. If you don't want them to do something, then these are the endings. But look at it. They are flip, like AR verbs end in is. And IR, ER verbs end in as. We use commands also to give advice, like ríe más, baila más, vive más, o no pelees, no grites, no seas gruñón, disfruta más. Formal way, usted, in singular, is going to be used when you want to be more formal or also in all kind of signs, in the street, in the airport, in the museum. So the endings are going to be for AR verbs and E, or IR, ER verbs and A, so they are flipped. If you are going to talk to a group of people, ustedes, it's going to be the same for the formal or informal, and you are going to add an N at the end. If you are trying to tell them to not do something, then you are going to add a no in the beginning of the command. So, hablen más despacio, no hablen tan rápido. What about when you need to use the pronouns and the commands? If you are telling someone to do something, then you are going to place the pronoun attached at the end of the verb, like lávate las manos, or llámame en la noche. But if you are telling them to not do something, then the pronoun is going to be placed between no and the verb, like no te comas mi comida, no le hables tan rápido, Él no habla español. Also, there are some verbs that are irregular when you are using the commands, like as, the, pon, ten, se, ven, ve. We're going to be doing some practice. In the informal way, I would say Ponte el cinturón de seguridad. And in the formal way, I would say, Póngase el cinturón de seguridad. Cierra la puerta o cierre la puerta. Ven a caminar en la playa. Dame un poquito de café. <risa> Cómetelo todo. Prende la televisión, por favor. Apaga la televisión, por favor. Papá, sírveme agua, por favor. Tómale una foto al paisaje, que me gusta muchísimo. <risa> 